Hey guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I thought we would do a classic YouTube what's in my bag, gym bag edition. I am a full-time personal trainer, group fitness instructor, and I run my own <laughs> online personal training business called Make Life Fit, and my, let me show you. My bag gets like insane. It is so heavy. So if you are curious what's in this bag, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, I know this video is like super random for my channel in some ways, but some ways not. And I was about, I was carrying this bag around today and I'm thinking like how obnoxious it is, but I need everything pretty much inside of it. And uh, I was about to unpack it and I thought, why not do it with you guys? So the bag itself is from Reebok. I got it from TJ Maxx, but if I can find it linked online, I will. I really like it. Um, I like that it's big. You can see how big it is. I like that it has like a tough bottom that can be thrown on the floor a lot. Because you know gym bags are usually thrown on the floor. And then this is inside of it, so it's pretty big inside. So I used to have like a traditional duffel bag, but... Um, since I need to take more stuff like laptop and more like kind of a mix of like office stuff and fitness stuff, this bag really, really helps. So I need to unpack it because I don't need all this stuff for um, my client and my classes tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. So let's just let's just get into it. So the first thing is, I am someone. This is so weird. I like being around people, but I like being at home. So anytime I'm like. So I create my own schedule for the most part and like I make up my schedule when I train clients and when I teach classes um, just by agreeing to do it or not do it and then also with running like my own online business I create my schedule where that goes. So when I leave the house I tend to pack like hours upon hours. It just makes, I would rather leave and do a 10 hour day than to just do like an hour one day three hours another day like I just like to cram things together so that's why there's so much stuff so I um the gym that I work at to train and teach classes is the YMCA and I work at different locations but at one of the locations I'm a part-time program coordinator so I'm helping do a lot of behind the scenes stuff um to help grow and promote the classes and personal training so that all the trainers um have clients so that the classes are being attended and people know what's going on there so um i had a meeting for that which brings me to my laptop bag this is from amazon and i'll link it down below but this is the brand um k on d candy and it's so cute um it has a double zipper on top and then the inside is like um super soft and so there is this is like so awkward so there's the actual pouch for the laptop and then there is a zipper and in that zipper I have when I teach class uh, some of the classes I write the workouts so I my system is to put them in these clear sheets um, and it's for each class so one class I teach is a strength and endurance class so that's like a circuit cardio hit type class we do weight training and then we also get the heart rate up and then another class I teach is silver sneakers which is for older population people ages 65 all the way up to 86 years old that class is so much fun they crack me up and then I do keep like a notebook I like to still take notes on paper and pencil and when I'm like on a call with someone I do prefer to take notes on my laptop but if I'm meeting in person with someone it just it's easier for me to write things out I just kind of connect it to my brain more when I do that and then I have um, my business cards here uh, make life fit LLC and I'll have that website linked down below. I have super old headphones for my laptop. And then I keep a couple of pens. These are my favorite pens. Just these simple Bic. I don't know. I just all time favorite. Those and the blue ones that are like that. So that is everything. And let me go ahead and show you my laptop cover. Also from Amazon. And I will again link that down below as well. But look it's marble. It's so cute. So I love this so much the um the case 
So let me, I have a fear that if I don't zip this up every time my laptop's gonna fall out and it's gonna break and then my whole life will be over. So let's sit that down where it is safe. All right, so I needed that for the meeting. And then after the meeting, I was planning to get my own workout in and then I was planning to record that workout because on my make life fit one underscore Instagram there I'm going to start posting fitness videos workout videos that people can follow along to so I needed um shoes <laughs> so I wear one pair of shoes into the gym they're like my outdoor shoes and then I switch out the shoes when I get to the gym and then these are my indoor shoes so this bag is like from a packing cube set that is not from Amazon, but I could probably find something. This was from a store like Aldi. It wasn't actually Aldi where they have like all the fun stuff in the middle and they had packing cubes. So I got a set and this bag is actually for like dirty laundry or something like that. But um, from transitioning to a full-time stable job to running my own business, there, there's there's budget cuts, okay? At least um, for the, while we're getting things going. So I did want to buy an actual shoe bag, which you can buy on Amazon. And I remember I had this. So um, the particular shoes I have in here are Reebok, which they look like this. I can link them down below. Um, I love these. I love that they slip on. I love that I can train clients in them, but also get in a quick strength workout with them. I don't know that I would personally run in them because they aren't like super tight. They are slip on tight. Um, I get a discount with Reebok through being a Les Mills instructor. Um, that's one of the brands uh, Reebok partners with. Also CrossFit is the other brand. So a lot of my stuff is Reebok because of my discount through them. So we needed shoes for the workout. And then I needed my camera, which I'm <laughs> using the camera right now to record this, which is a Canon Mark III G7X. So I had my little old bag, uh, camera bag, that I took with it. And then I also needed a tripod. I can link this down below as well. I think I need one that's like travel like this, but can extend a little bit more. Because sometimes it's hard to get good angles at the gym, because I'm just recording by myself at this point. And, um... Sometimes I can't be super far away from the camera because there's a lot of people working out as well. So, um, but this is the one that I currently have. So I needed that, all right? And then post-workout, <laughs> I needed to have a protein shake. I use the On Way protein powder and I mix it in unsweetened vanilla almond milk and that's just for muscle recovery after a strength workout. Muscle recovery is so big, especially uh, getting that protein in and then of course I always have my water bottle that is another muscle recovery thing you have to have it so um that's probably that water bottle is probably what, like what a lot of this weight was I have a receipt from Kadoba I went to Kadoba yesterday so with oop, oop, I went to Kadoba yesterday and with um the budget cuts I have found it's still important to treat myself once a week, even if it's just to like Kadoba. Like I took my own LaCroix, <laughs> so I only bought the salad, um, paid $7.55, well $8.23 of tax, and, or I'll go and get a Starbucks coffee. Like something that's less than $15, but I think it's still important to have like those little treats um, here and there. So there's a receipt for that. And then another, I told y'all, I love these pens. I love these pens. Um, I have a phone charger, so I have um, the iPhone 8, and I'm on this sucker all the time, and so if I don't have time to charge it before I leave, I'll just always grab my charger so that I am good if it happens to get really low, but we made it today. We didn't, we didn't need the charger. We made it. Uh, then I have a wallet. I'm so not fancy. Like... <laughs> <laughs> this is my uh let me just take my id out but this is my wallet and i like that it's so small so obviously my id goes here and then this middle part that doesn't like zip or anything is where i put like costco cards or like store cards or my um insurance card and then in the back i just keep some cash i always try to keep a couple of dollars on me and then there is some change in here and then in the middle, I always, okay, here we go, life hack, um, if you are a group fitness instructor and you have an iPhone, here, 
the attachment because most of the equipment I use is Bluetooth, which for the life of me, I can never figure out, or it's like the old school aux cords. So I always have this. Little are like my credit cards and that kind of thing. So always have that on me. All right, and then we have sunglasses. I, <laughs> this is from Target uh, last summer, and they're super cheap glasses, and I'm pretty sure these are from Target. Like, these are more, no more than $15, but what I have found is just buy a cheap little case, even if you're putting cheap little glasses in it, that way they don't get all scratched up and messed up, and you can have them stretch um, a little bit longer. So I always have this either in my car or in my bag. And then the lip color I'm wearing today, I went ahead and threw in this bag. It's Girlactic Beauty Matte Lip Paint, and this one is in Posh. And I've had this on for what time is it it's 7 18 p.m and i put it on around two so it's have not replied reapplied it's been on for about five hours i drink this protein shake and i've gone through one and a half of these waters so i like it i like this a lot it's very comparable as far as my love for it to the uh Too Faced melted matte and that particular ones in Queen Bee. So this is going to lipsticks I want to keep. All right. And then, y'all, yeah, more pens. <laughs> I do like these uh, Pilot G207 gel pens, but mostly a fan. I like these for, so my clients have to sign for their sessions. That way we can keep track of um, where we're at. So if they miss a couple, um, we know exactly like what they miss and if they were late cancels they don't get to make them up uh less than 24 hours but if i knew in advance then we just know so i like keeping those for my clients and then i train at a couple of different places and the place i was at tonight um is where the bulk of my clients are as i record this video i train 17 people in person <laughs> and uh two are at one gym but the other 15 are at another gym so i have this super old school expandable thing and what i keep in here is key so the very front um there is not personal information really so on the front are my clients uh workouts their programs and um the sheets that they sign so that's what these first few pieces of paper are for all of those clients and then okay and then here's where i keep the gel pens so that they can sign and then in the middle section so the front is where they there's papers to sign and in the middle are the prices for the training sessions when people ask I can quickly answer them then in the first section I have their measurements because they will I leave it up to my clients to let me know when they want measurements because I know that is such a personal thing that every six to eight months I will tell them like do you want to do measurements again but outside of that I leave it to them so I always have it on hand just in case they decide to want to do measurements and then I, I write programs for my clients so that last six to eight weeks so once they've completed a program, I do just keep them with me at all times because as we advance, they might say like, well, what, what did I do last time on the leg press? And I'll have it right there to just answer them right away. And then after that are all my programs. So writing programs is how I'm able to take on so many clients at once. I assess where they're at, pick the program for where they're at, and then we work through them. And once they finish that one, then they can level up to the other ones or we might need to go back. And then as I take on clients with different needs, like I uh, just took on a client who needs to really work on her core post having a baby. And so I had to write a new program for that, but now I have it. So I will continue to use that for other clients in her situation. And I do adjust as we go through through them um, but I at least have the outline ready to go but now that I have it and again we'll adjust as we go through I make notes and update and just figure out what works best um because just because something scientifically makes sense for a client doesn't mean for that individual it's right for them so 
anyways that's what most of this is and then I have just extra sheets like when I take on new clients they have to do contracts and stuff so I always like to have those on hand um, and then I like to have just backup sheets of new times because sometimes when I'm at home I'll be going through and making sure everyone's good and then in the very back I keep gloves for my clients which I keep sanitized but sometimes the squat bar is like too hard like it can callous your hands my hands are calloused from it um so some clients prefer to have gloves so i always have those on hand for them some clients have weak wrists so i have uh, wristbands on hand for them and then i always like to have a band in here uh for workouts but also warm-ups and then <laughs> i also have um a measuring tape just because I never know when they're gonna want to um, do their sessions and then I just have some like old workouts in here that I probably should take out but um yeah so this thing is my life support when I'm at the gym it's really nice and then plus because it's so hard I can um I can write on it like they can sign their names on this so yeah this thing's super old I probably need a new one but um that's that's where we're at with that okay so the very front pocket empty I usually don't put anything in here except for my cell phone and then this main section is empty now and there was a front zipper which is where I had um, my wallet and stuff and now we have like this back section this is what I call like my locker room so I like to keep an extra pair of socks extra pair of underwear um, extra pair of pants and an extra shirt down here you're at the gym you just never know when you need extra and um, actually this shirt is in here because it was just given to me new shirts we have to wear <laughs> oh my gosh wait till you see this <laughs> y'all y'all gonna see me a mile away so SGT means small group training so we have classes that are similar to Orange Theory or um, those type of places at the Y and they're called small group training so we just call them something different but you're doing the similar small classes high impact super intense so I teach that class twice a week so we got new shirts for that um, I have a backup pair of leggings in here all my leggings are pretty much Reebok I love Reebok I got Gymshark and I feel like Reebok's better and it's half the price especially with my discount but they run sales on their website all the time you just need to read the reviews but I love Reebok these are a pair that I have back up and then I have on these right here super cute super cute so Reebok is I just ordered a new pair as well so yeah always have leggings and then I always have backup socks the biggest reason I have socks in here is for when it's like raining or uh, super cold outside since I go in with a pair of shoes I just worry like what if I step in a puddle or what if um, I get wet just walking outside and I don't want to have to teach a class or train like for four hours wearing wet socks I have an extra pair I always have an extra pair of underwear in here um, extra ox cord I always have that in here um, gotta have extra pads in here, extra deodorant, um, name tag for where I work, lip gloss. This is the Jack Black lip gloss in vanilla mint. And then I have this guy which has super old headphones in it, um, another pair of underwear, uh, I'm prepared y'all, a backup contact case. A interval timer for when I'm with trainers when I'm with trainers when I'm with clients I have a flashlight um, that is just in case I need it I have backup batteries for the the mics at the gym um, they you know they're in the room all day so they get used a lot and then sometimes they're dead and then you have to run around the whole gym to get more batteries and I'm just like I always say they make a fool out of me so I just bring my own um, I bring I have a bunch of hair ties I just have these black hair ties that I always use and then I have like this thing that's really old but it's still smelly it's to make your gym bag smell good or right, those are actually for shoes but I just keep it in my gym bag um, 
so that that's everything that is in here uh that that was a lot so for tomorrow i train one person and i teach a class so i don't need all of this stuff like i'll keep my locker part in here is what i call it um that's the part that's like a true gym bag but um I don't need like my laptop and all of that. I'll, I'll have a protein shake and a water bottle and I'll have that big gray file folder, but I won't need to actually have like my camera and all of that stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna have to pack this back up. Also, Reebok, sponsor me, I'm ready. I always tell the people who come to my class, my class members, uh, <laughs> y'all, I'm ready for Reebok to sponsor me anytime. I don't care what they need, 10 posts a day, 20 posts a day, I'm blowing up my social media, like, come at me, I'm ready. <laughs> um, okay, and then the final thing I want to talk about real quick is makeup. So when I um, train clients like I did today and I'm not teaching a class, I don't, I will wear a full face of makeup like I have on now. And when I personally do my workouts, I would not wear a full face of makeup. But since I was recording the workouts, I wanted to have makeup on for those. But when I'm teaching classes, which some days I have a block of teaching um, three classes in a row. So I at first was not wearing any makeup, but I just really wanted something to highlight my features. So I started wearing a waterproof mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara is what I currently have. And this does like, it doesn't move, it's kind of hard to get off, but so are like all waterproof mascaras. So I need to, so I have skincare on, then I put a setting powder. This particular, particular one is Pacifica Crystal Ray's uh, Luminous Translucent Setting Powder. So I don't love this one, but I don't dislike it, and I didn't return it when I was kind of unsure about it. So I put this on over my eyes and then below my eyes, and then I put on the mascara because it does transfer, at least on me, if it's just skincare on my face. So those are the two items, and then I keep a brush. This is just a um, crown brush, I'm pretty sure, um, and that's how I put the powder on. Then I put on the mascara, and then the final thing I put on, so I'll have like a bare face except for the mascara. I do like to go ahead and put on this uh, Stila. This is the Heavenly Hue Highlighter in Kitten. And I really like a cream highlighter because it just makes me look like I have a little something to my face. Like it just lifts my cheeks and adds a little life to my face. That with the mascara. It's just a little something to enhance my features but it's not like a full face of makeup that's just going to melt off onto my clothes. So yeah, I just wanted to mention those uh, just little, little quick makeup things, okay? All right guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's random and long. I just talked for like 25 minutes straight and I don't think there's gonna be a lot to edit out of that. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and then I will say real quick, this shirt, right here is a um it's a boxy crop top that is from target and it says new york on the back and i got it in the clearance um area but i will say this i got a 2x in it and that's why it's so like cozy and <laughs> and comfortable and i just i love it so much so if you're looking for like a cozy crop top try buying one that's just like five times bigger than you are. <laughs> but anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.